The Boston Bruins can push the Blues to the brink of elimination tonight with a win and a 3-1 series lead. A Blues win. We're tied at two in this best of seven and things could get interesting. We've been saying all these games are big, but let's call tonight pivotal. Let's go live to St. Louis now. Ruthie Polinski and Maury Hirsch Gordon standing by guys. Hey, Yanni, we are less than an hour away from puck drop, and the Bruins really, Maury, just came into this building like a storm. Can the Blues weather it? Yeah, outside of the first five minutes in game three, the Bruins really dominated the Blues for the majority of that game. And a big reason why is Tuka Rask, and he's been the mainstay in net this postseason. Listen to this. Tuka Rask has allowed 18 goals in his last 11 games this postseason. That's averaging to less than two goals a game. Many noticed the chippiness between Perron and Tuca, but he said yesterday none of that phases him at all. His focus and his ability to keep his composure in these situations has set the tone for this team, and it doesn't hurt that he's been lights out between the pipes. He plays well. He plays with confidence. He plays, um, you know, I think he's the best hockey of his <laughs> career. You know, it's always one of those things where you don't really see him kind of give too much to, to the other team no matter who we've been playing. and. Uh, it seems like uh, you know the other teams are getting frustrated with certain certain elements about his game. This playoff has been he's been phenomenal. He, he, he's keeping us in the game so many times, but uh, but not just the saves, but helping out the D's talk or uh, playing the puck. You know he's been he's been on another level this playoffs. Now the netminder on the other side facing Tuka Rask is Jordan Bennington. 12-2 coming off a loss this season since taking over the starting goaltender job in January, so he's been great coming off of a loss. And some changes for the Blues. Defenseman Vince Dunn, who missed the last six games due to injury, as well as Oscar Sunkist, who's back from his one-game suspension. They're both expected to play tonight, so it'll be interesting to see how the Blues adjust and if the Bruins can respond to their adjustments. That's it from St. Louis ahead of Game 4. We have our pregame show coming up on WPRI.com. For Maury Hirschgord and I'm Ruthie Polinski, live in St. Louis, Iowa to Sports.